Simulation of the selective hydrogenation of carbon dioxide to methanol. This is a scientific initiation research made by me, Arthur Coutinho Valadares, under supervision of Professor Alice Medeiros de Lima. Methanol is a single carbon alcohol, represented in the figure 1, with properties similar to ethanol but a greater solubility power. Due to this property, it's majorly used in the industries as a substitute of the ethanol. Nowadays, methanol is obtained from natural gas through syngas. However, natural gas is a finite and fossil source of energy. Thus, it's necessary to study ways to obtain the desired product by alternative ways, more friendly to the environment, like the use of carbon dioxide as raw material. The carbon dioxide is still polluting gas, but its reuse as raw material can help to minimize the effect of the intensification of the global greenhouse effect. The objective of this research is to simulate and evaluate the production of methanol from di carbon dioxide using copper, zinc, aluminum, zirconium, fibrous catalysts on industrial scale. This research can be divided in three topics. The first is the thermodynamic analysis. In this step, it was verified the thermodynamic system behavior, minimizing the Gibbs free energy. Two thermodynamic models were compared to verify their behavior and to verify whether there is a great distinction in the results presented. Then the results were compared with the values presented in Stageland. Next, the kinetic analysis of the system was performed using the equations presented in Shin and compared with simulated and empirical values. And the final objective of the project, but not yet concluded, is the economic analysis of the implementation of a project to produce methanol in the proposed way. The simulations are being held in the software Aspen Plus along with spreadsheets. Results obtained for thermodynamic and kinetic analysis were treated for a better understanding using equations 4, 5, and 6. Thermodynamic analysis. Initially, it was described the most probable reactions to occur in the reactor based in literature findings presented as numbers 7, 8, and 9. The feed ratio was determined based on the stoichiometric of the equation 7, resulting in a ratio equal to 3. It was made a sensitive analysis of the reactor, varying the temperature and pressure of the equipment. The figures 2 and 3 show the results for the conversion and selectivity, respectively, from the simulation using Sov Hedlisch Kong model and the results presented in Stageland. Linking with the result of the conversion of carbon dioxide, we have that, thermodynamically, the ideal operating conditions for the reaction system understood presents high pressures and low temperatures. Kinetic analysis. The same reactions described previously had their kinetic equations described as lang muir hazen rhodes hogan watson equations in Shin. And just as it was done for the first analysis, sensitive analysis were performed in the system, but now fixing the pressure or temperature term in varying the order along with the variation of the feed ratio. The results obtained in the sensitive analysis are shown in the figure 4 and 5. From these results, it is possible to affirm that the maximum yield for methanol are at temperatures between 240 and 250 degrees Celsius. Maintaining the temperature constant at 250 degrees Celsius, we can see that the methanol yield is proportional to the pressure. Any increase in the proportion of the feet results in an increase in the yield of the alcohol. However, due to the reduction of the carbon dioxide feed, this does not mean an increase of the methanol flow. Linking the results, the ideal operation conditions for the reaction system understood present high pressures and temperatures between 240 and 250 degrees Celsius. Analyzing the results obtained through the simulations and empirically, we have that the values obtained are close to each other and have the same characteristic curve, validating the results obtained through the simulation. The next steps of the project is scaling up the process to be equivalent to an industrial plant and to perform an economic analysis and verify the viability of the reaction medium understood.